Hey guys, it's me F. Grogan and I'm coming to do the tutorial of how I got my TWA into a Marley bun. Of how I went from this to this. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so I washed and conditioned my hair. I used the uh, Omelette, Soft Shin Carson's Omelet Legend Shampoo and Conditioner. And I used the um, African Pride Leave-In Conditioner. And I did not deep condition this week. I'll do that. Um, I'll do that next week. So my hair is dry, and while I was I allowed it to air dry, while it was air drying, I was picking it out to make it uh, kind of stay stretched a little bit and to make it a little bit easier to to manage. Since I'm going to be having my hair into a ponytail, I want to make sure that it stays moisturized. So I'm going to add my some of my whipped shea butter to my hair. Um, if you want to know what I used, I use the same stuff that I used before in my whipped shea butter video. So if you want to take reference back to that, you definitely can. It's under my relaxed hair care video section under the playlist. And I tried so hard to, um, you, to look on YouTube to find other videos of women getting their TWA into a ponytail or to a bun. And I found several videos, but their hair was, was way longer than mine. It said TWA in the title, but when I clicked on the video, their hair was almost a foot long. And they, I guess they considered that a TWA, but... I didn't find any videos with anyone's hair as short as mine that did it. So I'm gonna use this brush and just kind of work my way up and be very gentle. You don't want to yank on your hair or anything like that. So I'm going to now take some of my Eco Styler Gel. I use the blue one. I like the blue one better than the green one. The green one seems to make my hair flake for some reason. So I'm going to take some and just start from the back and just keep rubbing. Keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Then you can take your brush. Take your brush and this brush. And I am six months natural and three months post second Big Chop. So. Okay, so grab what you can. And put it in a ponytail. And that's <laughs> that's my ponytail. Okay. So of course, since my hair is so short, much of it is really not even in the ponytail. It's kind of just laying there. So you could take a small brush or something tight or a toothbrush or something that'll get it really, really, really brushed up. And I'm going to use these clips to clip them in, clip her hair up 
in place. Brush it up as tightly as you can. Secure it with your hand and then just keep clipping. Now for this front I'm going to use a side comb. Any of the pieces that you see, like this part here and there, any parts you can see, you can use bobby pins or if you want to use more clips, whatever you want to do to secure it in place, you can. So for this piece, I'm going to use a bobby pin. Okay, so that's it. You can either sit under the dryer or allow it to air dry. I'm going to let this to air dry overnight. So I'll be back once it's dry and I'll show you guys how I apply the Marla Break. And I'll see you shortly. Alright, it's the next day. My hair should be dry. Hopefully it's dry by now. So what you're going to do is take your Marla hair. And what I did is... I cut it uh, about three-fourths of the length. It's about 25% of the length that's not in this um, because it was a little too long. And I didn't want to cut it in half because that would be too short. So this is about three-fourths of the length of the Marley hair. And you know how sometimes synthetic hair can be real, real, just extremely shiny. What you can do, or this is what I used to do. <laughs> what I do, uh, what I, and I, what I did for this is take a little powder, uh, baby powder, don't matter, any kind of powder, and rub it in your hands and just rub it on the hair. Don't do too much or it'll turn the hair gray or white, but just enough and it'll get take that shine away. So uh, that's what I did to make it not so just extremely shiny. Okay, once you have it wrapped around, I'm going to go ahead and take off my scarf. And that's how it looks. It's not perfect, but that's okay. So you're going to take this portion and wrap it around the ponytail that you may have. Put another bobby pin right here. I'm just going to wrap it around to make it secure. And I'm going to take the Marley hair and bring it where it's all around. Okay, make sure you have some bobby pins close by. So now that it's all wrapped all around, I'm going to take a front portion, just a small piece in the front. I'm 
and I'm going to roll it under and just keep rolling it and you can make it as close as tight or as loose as big or as small as you like and just secure it with the bobby pin Okay, take another section. okay and this is the final result and I'm gonna try to do a 360 so you guys can see how it looks all over Okay, so uh, definitely love this style. It's a definitely a big difference from the TWA look. You can try this if you want to create a protective style because it definitely protects your ends since it's about to get cold. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So this is officially how to get your TWA into a bun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it. Um, found this information. Um, needed and something that you guys can use and until next time you guys definitely continue to pray for me and i will pray for you i'll see you guys on the next video bye